Hey guys, this is Bob Freaking of Yuga Tech, and today we're doing something a little different with our Ask Yuga Tech segment. We have here the producer for the game Resident Evil 7, which will be coming out this January. We had a chance to have a have a play at the the, the newest Lantern demo that they had at Gamescom. So without further ado, let's get into it. These are questions that I've managed to gather through the help of Mar our editors and forums my friends who are really big fans of resident evil 7 so we're here at data blitz's headquarters and thanks to them and capcom for having us for giving us this opportunity to be able to talk to the, the producer let's get into it let's go this will be our presentation uh, if you have any questions about the presentation specifically or any other questions that you would like to ask uh -huh. uh, please feel free um, so my first question would be, would there be mercenaries mode after the the game, or any any reference to older games like Tofu, the Tofu right. mode after? Sure. And to, first, this ne, mercenaries were first introduced as an online game, so they were now being used in this ne. So to answer the first part of your question regarding mercenaries, uh, Resident Evil Seven does not support any online mode. え、uh, so, for example, uh, with Resident Evil 5, uh, we focus on a cooperative online play, which was well received. But uh, the key concept of Resident Evil 7 is horror. And so, from the very beginning, we thought that playing it alone will best uh, provide the best horror experience. So, we decided to make it a single player. Now, the second part of your question. はい。uh, items that are kind of an homage uh, to previous Resident Evil titles. There's nothing so uh, strong as the example that you gave, but there are other smaller things, for example, like the herbs in the game, mm -hmm. uh, or other items that you'll get that if you have played a Resident Evil game in the past, the minute you see the item, you'll know how it's used. Uh, so there are familiar elements like that throughout the game. Um, most of the things I've seen is one-on-one -on -one combat. So will there be like combat with multiple enemies? Yeah, that, that's basically my question. Will there be multiple enemies at the same time for combat? Sure. I know what must be sure. Why must it? Yes, there are situations where it's you versus several enemies. But if you have 10 or 20 or so, you have to do that in a fight. But you have to do that in a fight. 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 Uh, just to note, uh, there's not a situation where it's like you versus 20 or you versus 30 mm -hmm. enemies, like in uh, Red Note 6 or something like that. Uh, but it's also not just always one versus one. So there are many different situations. Okay. If, if there is a single game in the, in the entire franchise that would have the highest influence with Resident Evil 7, what would that be? How do you want this name? Well, that would be Resident Evil 1. Okay. Uh, specifically speaking, not the remake of Resident Evil 1, but the original Resident Evil 1. Whoa, why, why not the remake? What's, uh, the, what's the huge difference? Uh, so, uh, I think it goes, this goes back to the fact that it was like the first time that they were making something. Uh, first time trying to deliver that experience, and so they were like, Kind of capture that same feeling with this. 
、一番初代のバイオハザードっていうのは、やっぱり新たなフロンティアを自分たちで開拓しようみたいな、そういう気持ちもあったと思います。Yeah, for example, when you remake something, the main goal is to refine it, to try to make it better,、um, to build up what's there. But for example, Resident Evil 1, it was all about creating something new, discovering something brand new.、Um, we feel that's the spirit of Resident Evil 7.、Um, with the new direction that we're taking with Resident Evil 7, should we expect future games to be in this first person shooter,、mm. a first person point of view? and This type of game, would, will we see this in 8 and,、mm-hmm. and other games like Revelation? Okay. I think that the title of the title is the same as the title of the title. I think that the title is the same as the title of the title. I think that the title is the same as the title of the title. It really depends on what the needs of the title of the title are. So, third person perspective or first person perspective.、Uh, we'll definitely look at not only what future titles need, but also、uh, how fans、uh, accept this move to a first perspective.、Uh, so, if it's popular with them, it might be something we'll continue to use if they prefer it and we'll consider something else. Regarding the presentation as well, you,、mm. um, you emphasized on exploration.、Mm. Um, will this be an open An open ended exploration game, or will this have chapters、um, chapters and auto saves? Right, so what do you mean? Yes, but as save the demo, okay. So,、uh, the game is actually a linear experience,、uh, be- meaning that uh, uh, not that it's、uh, There's only one way through, rather, that it takes place on a linear timeline, so it's not divided into chapters. So, like, one experience that continues from beginning to end.、Um, however, as far as saving is concerned, there's an auto save system.、Uh, so, if you die, for example, you can restart not so far back、uh, from when you die, and there's also an ability to save your game at save points. セーブに関してはその難易度によってはそんな甘いことを許してくれないし、yeah. モードもあります。There's also just a note that depending on the difficulty level that you choose, the way in which the save mechanic works changes. So if you choose a harder difficulty, the save system will not be so nice to you. Okay. What will the Resident Evil series be doing differently from other? Games in this genre、mm. to, to separate itself from the, the other titles out, out there. Sure. I don't know. So, the series is a little bit of a separate title. It's a little bit of a 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 title. ししていますし、えー、このタイトルでもそうしていると思いますので、えー、ナンバリングの,そのファンがやったとしてもです、ね、非常に楽しんでもらえるタイトルになっているというふうに考えています。Um, so, one key element that differentiates Resident Evil from other horror games is, of course, the Resident Evil universe that has been built up over 20 years. And this game takes place within that same universe, and this was after、uh, Resident Evil 6. Um, so, just taking a quick look at the game because of the change to the first person perspective and a more intimate experience, it may feel initially that it has changed a lot. And of course, we are、uh, trying many new challenges and new ways to present the game to the player. But those things that we regard as important to as a people are there, and we feel that the fans of Resident Evil can continue to look forward to experience the Resident Evil universe. Be, this being a main game,、mm-hmm. you, you mentioned it's building on the universe of Resident Evil. And in Resident Evil 6 and Revelations 2, there are a lot of plots that haven't been finished yet.、Mm-hmm. Will this be expanding on that? And how would the, the universe of Resident Evil come into this Resident Evil 7 game? Sure. Do you know what you're talking about? 
Um, I actually wanted to ask you, are there any particular plots or storylines from past games that haven't been resolved that well, you are for, interested for in? The main, for the main, for Resident Evil 6, there's with Ada, mm -hmm. um, a lot of things surrounding Ada still mm -hmm. not known. The family with the ending of Resident Evil 6, then there's Alex Wesker from, from Revelation. あの、そうですね。あの、ナンバリングでどこまで終えるかわからないんですけれども、あの、過去にいろんなタイトルでね、派生タイトルでもその辺のフォローしたいと思ってますので、そういった可能性はあるんじゃないかなと思います。So uh, in the past, uh, as you might be aware, for example, uh, Revelations is somewhat of a spin-off title. Yeah. And we use that as the name implies to follow up a lot of story threads. Uh, so we do have a uh, past example of taking stories from other games and answering them yeah. or continuing them in a different game. So that's probably something that you can expect from this game. We just can't say what that is right now. Wait, so so there there actually going to be um, expansions here in the I can't promise anything. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, about the about the demos you said uh, lantern is for horror. Mm -hmm. Will we will we be seeing an update to the demo, or will there be another demo for for the other aspects of the game? Yes. So we do plan indeed to update the demo that is currently on PlayStation Network uh, to provide players with the opportunity to experience the other sides of Resident Evil Seven. Is there a date for the demo? His game will be released. So actually we don't have a fixed date, uh, but of course the game is coming out relatively soon, uh, so we don't have much time. Uh, so it will be out before the game comes out, it will be out soon. Will, will the demo be available to other platforms, or is it going to be just for the PS4? Yes, we would like to have it on other platforms as well. About the Resident Evil engine, mm -hmm. will that be making its way to other titles in Capcom or handheld, even in handheld, or is that something that will be exclusive to Resident Evil platform games? Uh, so the RE engine is actually applicable to whatever game that you want to use it to. Uh, so we do plan to use it um, broadly. However, it's also a uh, engine that's specifically game, uh, designed for high-end um, capabilities. So uh, it probably isn't a good match for mobile. Except for one last thing, it's not for Resident Evil 7, but can you tell us something about the Resident Evil 2 remake? Or if you're going to have a remake of Outbreak as well, a lot of fans have been asking. Regarding Resident Evil 2 remake, um, there is a separate producer named Mr. Hirobayashi who is part of work on that right now. And uh, all we can say is that we hope that maybe he'll have some information to share soon. Outbreak was, yeah, the original one was a lot of money and a lot of money was spent, and at the time, it was a very challenging thing to do. So, if you want to make a new thing, you have to be ready to do it. But at the same time, you have to be ready to do it. But at the same time, you have to be ready to do it. But at the same time, you have to be ready to do it. Uh, creating the original Outbreak uh, was a huge task for Capcom. Uh, it was a unique game, featuring online many elements like that. So, uh, in order to create a successor to that, like a worthy successor to it, it would uh, require a lot of planning from Capcom to make sure that we get it right. However, uh, we are always listening to what fans want, uh, so that can be the uh, impetus for us to explore making. Uh, remake of it or uh, successful remake. Okay. With that, that's all. Alright. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.